Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover filtering individual charts, tables, and widgets in Looker Studio. Now, let's say you want this table to only show social media traffic. So we're going to get rid of all the other default channel groupings. What we're going to do is scroll down to filters in the data section and click on add a filter. And we'll call this social media traffic include select the field we'll type in default session default channel grouping equal to or let's include contains social and we can check this filter to see what it will show okay organic social that's what we want now if there was paid social traffic that would also be included but since there's not, it's only organic social. And instead of requiring the user to drill down, we're just going to get rid of the session default channel grouping dimension and just leave the source. And then we'll toggle this drill down option off. So now, by default, it'll just list the social media traffic sources. You can also use the exclude condition or switch this condition here to any of these as well. You can add an OR statement and you can add an AND statement as well. Another use case is filtering the widget by events like Add to Cart. If you have a page control for events, your viewers might not know the event name to filter by. It might be easier to just create a chart filter for them. If you want the full comprehensive Looker Studio tutorial, including how to connect data sources and how to configure dashboards and reports, Check the link on the screen or the link in the description. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want more content on digital analytics, including tracking, reporting, analysis, we'll see you in the next episode.